If only that annoying person would act differently, you say to yourself, I would not be triggered. If they were kinder, more professional, more understanding, or otherwise acted the way I want them to act, everything would be fine. Does this kind of thinking serve you? Does it serve me? Let's explore what the brilliant Stoic Epictetus has to say about this common reaction to interactions with other people. Your host here, Stephen Carter of Stress Solutions, LLC. You'll find more information about Stress Solutions, LLC at our website, eft-md.com eft-md.com. Having helped thousands of people transcend chronic stress, one of the most important tools I share with clients is the liberating wisdom of Stoicism, along with a variety of other stress-dissolving methods to include emotional freedom techniques and other holistic practices. Returning to Epictetus, let's start with one of his important observations. People are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of things. People are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of things. These few words encapsulate a simple truth. Events occurring in the outside world are just events. Their circumstances, situations, or conditions that have no intrinsic meaning in and of themselves. You and I give these events, circumstances, these conditions, meaning. We make judgments about whether such events are good, bad, or neutral. Our judgments create the disempowering emotional reactions of grief, sadness, irritation, anger, Likewise, we may judge an event or a person's behavior as good and experience a sense of approval, happiness, or even joy. How does this happen? Typically, it happens unconsciously. You and I filter events, circumstances, or people's behavior through an evaluation based on beliefs about what is good, bad, or neutral. How often do we meditate on our beliefs and determine if those beliefs will serve us? How true are they now? Most of our beliefs operate at an unconscious level. Our conclusions are usually immediate, they're visceral, they feel true, and we react accordingly. Let's turn our attention to another observation by Epictetus. Quote, if someone irritates you, it is only your own response that is irritating you. Therefore, when anyone seems to be provoking you, remember that it is only your judgment of the incident that provokes you. Remember it is only your judgment that provokes you. So what can you do if you want to become less judgmental and experience more equanimity in everyday life? First, I suggest recognizing the truth of Epictetus' words. People are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of things. Understanding this truth at a deep level sets the stage to create new, more empowering responses to people, circumstances, and behaviors that in the past triggered disapproval, irritation, anger, or other disempowering reactions. This does not mean, by the way, you need to approve of immoral or other behavior you view as reprehensible, if after thoughtfully examining a situation, you decide something is wrong, that's fine. You can come to that conclusion without allowing your judgment to take control of your emotions, 
to the point where you lose control of your mind and your actions. That is the big idea. Remind yourself daily you are choosing to live and respond from a place of reason and emotional control. If you're in a situation where you know you've been triggered with disempowering reactions in the past, create and give voice to an affirmation about how you will respond to any future events. As an example, if you know you are frequently triggered when driving and other drivers cut you off, drive slowly, speed, or engage in other activities that used to irritate you, your affirmation could be, I choose to be calm and relaxed when driving regardless of what other drivers do. I choose to be calm and relaxed when driving regardless of what other drivers do. Repeat and really, really feel the wisdom of your chosen affirmation several times a day. See yourself in your mind's eye responding in alignment with your chosen affirmation. Make this a habit throughout the day, each day, every day. If you fall back into disempowering behavior, simply notice it without judgment and reenact the situation in mind the way you would have liked it to unfold. Make the new imagery big, bold, and bright. In short order, you'll find yourself automatically behaving in more empowering ways, consistent with the Stoic principles. I encourage you to subscribe to Stoic Sunshine wherever you get your podcasts. If you have a friend or family member keen to learn more about Stoicism, I encourage you to share this episode with them. If you would like to comment on this episode, email me at cartermethod at gmail.com. As a reminder, do subscribe or follow. That way you will never, ever miss an episode. Until our next visit, your host here, Stephen Carter, CEO for Stress Solutions, LLC, wishing you blessings, light, and much love.